All right, we're getting close to the end of this, but perhaps one of the funnest things to do is to pre-build variation. So I have this track here. It's just a little one bar loop actually. And what I'm gonna do is get a beat repeat. When you drag the whole folder on, you just get a empty beat repeat with no preset on it. Okay, good enough. And I've got to go over here to my IO settings because what I want to do is create another track by right clicking Command T. And I want to record what's coming out of this track. And I'm going to name this track so that it names right. Beat repeat drums. And then I'm going to, in the input over here, I want to say beat repeat drums and take this off and arm the track. And you can see that I have levels in here. Rehearsed a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna also name this And I'm going to perform my track. Okay, now I have this. It's named just exactly like I named it. Cut the other one, and I'm going to listen to this one. Okay, and I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go to repitch and create a little fill at the very end of this. Make sure my grid is set to 16 something like. Okay, one would obviously have to work a little bit harder on this break. Okay, and so what I've just done is performed some variations and re-recorded them. What I love about Ableton is you can send something anywhere or you can receive something from anywhere and record it. And shouldn't take that for granted because that doesn't happen so easily in Logic or Pro Tools. So that is re-recording variations and again, like we did before, you can take this into your user library. Say so I'll just categorize this as in drum loops, stick it in there. 